Hello Aries, welcome to you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, what are the energies between you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So check out your other placements, your moon and rising sign for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you wanna check out those other messages. All right, let's jump in for Aries. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Aries. What does Aries need to know regarding love, regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Aries need to know, Spirit? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Oops. What does Aries need to know? Wow, my deck really wants to talk. I'm gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection first. What's going on for Aries and the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time? What's going on in their connection? What's going on between you? The Fool. Great, great energy. What else? What else for Aries? Going on for Aries and the person they are. Wow, judgment. Interesting. Well, there's definitely a new beginning happening in this connection. Perhaps due to an awakening, someone could be realizing something about this connection, waking up to some sort of truth about this connection. There could also be a second chance happening here with Judgment and the Fool. Someone giving you a call, perhaps. Tell me about Judgment. Why is Judgment here for Aries? What is Judgment doing here? Wow, Nine of Cups. <laughs> this is crazy. What about What else do we need to know about Judgment? What else do we need to know? about judgment. My deck is really wanting to like leap out of my hands. Ace of Swords reverse and the Five of Pentacles reverse. I want this one too. The Chariot. Wow. Cancer energy. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like with the Ace of Swords reverse, I almost feel like there was something that wasn't said in the past. I'm not picking up um, deception. Although someone could have deceived you. I just don't pick up any negative energy from it. Um, it's almost like they didn't tell you the whole truth about something or they didn't tell you the truth to spare your feelings, something like that. I feel like this person's trying to recover something though, recover from this with the Five of Pentacles reverse. Maybe they had a very big loss due to the fact that they didn't tell you something or that they kept something from you. Now the chariot is here, which I find fascinating because it's almost like someone headed towards you or, I don't know, let's ask, what's this, what's this chariot about? Why is the chariot here for Aries? Why is the chariot here? Nine of swords, someone nervous? Anxious? Why is it chariot here? King of Swords. Yeah, this person's coming over to talk. They have something to say. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is this is fascinating to me because I feel like this is the this is someone coming forward after, you know, first of all, them coming forward, they would need to overcome their fear. And second of all, they're coming forward like with a mission. The mission is to tell you something. This could also be you, Aries. You could flip this um, and this could be you headed towards someone to tell them something as well. You know, wanting to come clean. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Wow, two of cups, you gotta be kidding me. What in the world's going on? And then there's a knight of swords at the bottom of the deck, Aries. It's like your soulmate's coming over <laughs> to talk. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm picking up so far. A new beginning for 
in love, a new beginning in love. That's really what this is. This is somebody that with the two of cups and the nine of cups is like is exactly who you were wanting or waiting for or your heart's desire, you know? They could also be thinking that you are just it for them. You are their soulmate. You are everything that they want and they want to have a new beginning with you. That could also be the case here with the Fool and the Two of Cups. This could be somebody taking a risk on love, taking a risk, a leap of faith uh, regarding a new connection. I mean, there's ma many messages here. But I find it also, it's just the Knight of Swords, King of Swords is here, the Ace of Swords is reversed. The truth is very important. This message is very important. Okay, so let me get one more on this Ace of Swords Reverse and the Five of Pentacles Reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords Reverse and the Five of Pentacles Reverse. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Ace of Swords Reverse and the Five of Pentacles Reverse? The High Priestess. Yeah, something was not said. There's a secret here, a mystery, some, some sort of mysterious element. Someone hiding on uh, some sort of knowledge. Okay, so let's jump into how you are thinking, feeling about each other. Let's see what we need to know. Spirit, tell me about the energies between Aries and this other person. Aries, I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Okay, Aries. Let me know about Aries and this person. Tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What do we need to know about Aries? What do we need to know? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about Aries. Ace of Wands reverse. The energy that Aries. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Let's look at this other person. Tell me about the other person, the person that Aries is thinking about connecting with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. Well, Aries, right away I can tell you that the main message I'm getting here is that you are not settling for anyone. I feel like you're at a state in, of, of your life where you're not starting something unless you know where it's headed, unless you feel sure about it, unless it's fair to you, balanced, unless you, you're getting back what you put in. I feel like this also could have been the history that you had with this person. I feel like there was an imbalance between you. One of you cared more than the other. One of you gave more than the other. One of you was more committed than the other, etc., etc. Et there was an imbalance there. But I feel like this is your focus now. Your focus is you want to get back what you put in. And perhaps you're wondering too um, if that's going to happen. Because the Ace of Wands reverse tells me that probably something hasn't started. Probably something is delayed. Perhaps you haven't wanted to jump into anything. And the higher font, I'm thinking of this as like tradition, values. Um, it's like you want to do things right. Or this is how you want to be approached. Now your person over there, they're thinking about you and, you know, there's feelings here for you. But there's also a wall that this person's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe... Maybe there's resistance here. Let's find out with you what's going on though. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. Oh, the High Priestess. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. I'm really hoping that someone didn't hide that they were married from you, because that would not be fun. Queen of Wands reverse, yikes. There could have also been secrets. Someone that just, you've been dealing with people that keep secrets or aren't open about things.
Queen of Wands reverse. This is someone that's very upset. There's some problems here, but I don't understand. I don't understand if this is you or if this is something that you know about. The Queen of Wands reverse with the Four of Wands reverse is someone that causes problems. There's no harmony. There is a uh, fights and discord. You know, there's there's no coming together with this Queen of Wands reverse. I think what I think this could be you in the sense of I'm, I'm seeing s several things. One thing I'm seeing is you are you were very upset at the way you were probably treated in the past. Maybe you reacted and said something like, you know, I don't want to work this out because I, all I know is I can't trust you. I'm sure it was said a little bit meaner than that because, you know, heat of the moment. But I feel like this, this, this could have been your reaction to the fact that there was secrets or a mystery. Like, you know, somebody wasn't being like upfront with you and you were just not having it. And, you know, it's because you're in this mindset of, um, I want something real. I want something that matches with my values, that matches with what I'm looking for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm also picking up that the secret could have been because of another person, someone that caused drama, someone that caused difficulties, whether you know it or not. Someone could have sabotaged this for you or for another person. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yikes. King of Pentacles reverse. You definitely were not getting anything worthwhile from this other person. And it's the same person that, that wants to talk to you. I think the person that wants to talk to you is the person that didn't give you what you deserved. Didn't treat you the way you deserved. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reverse. There could be something in the way here. Some sort of delay. Yeah, two of wands reverse and the chariot. Maybe this hinges on someone's actions towards you. Maybe someone has to leave or head towards a new direction or make a move of some sort to turn this around. Yeah, there's definitely the hangman reverse. I feel like there's somebody that needs to maybe get out. Ooh, okay. The message I got was get out of their head. Uh, that's not really the message of the hangman reverse, but that's what I'm getting. Like someone wanted to, someone can only see something a certain way, but they were forced to change their mind because the hangman reverse could also be someone that refuses to look at anything from a different angle. They can only see things from one focus, one perspective, and they can miss things. They, they don't become enlightened. So I got the message, get out of your head or almost like they're being stubborn. So I don't know if this is you or the person that you're meant to deal with here, but I feel like this is keeping something from starting. Eight of Pentacles, so someone needs to work on this. Yeah, this, this, this is gonna require action and effort. Mm. This could also be you, Aries. You might have to change your way of thinking, or maybe you have to change your way of thinking. And maybe by changing this way of thinking or how you approach a situation it will open up a door for you. Let's see what's going on here with Aries. Tell me about Aries. Just tell me about Aries. I really hope that you're not the one in a commitment. I just am not picking up commitment from that higher font. Difficult decision, burning passion. The chemistry is off the chart. Passion, intimacy, chemistry, true love. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like there's a path that needs to be chosen here with difficult decision, but it's going to bring true love perhaps. Bottom of the deck, unhealthy attachment. Tell me more about Aries. There's definitely something in the way here, Aries. I'm trying to figure out why. The fish. 
Fish is kind of about finding your direction, finding your focus. You might have been all over the place, not sure where to go, not sure where your path led. I, I see you constantly searching. Maybe you've been constantly searching for something. But I feel like you're, you're the one that needs to make a difficult decision here. And that's kind of keeping things like at bay, almost like delaying things. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Four of Cups reverse. The Emperor, wow, Three of Wands reverse. Aries energy with the Emperor, there you are. The moon, Pisces energy, Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like this person's in a situation that's making them very unhappy. I feel like they got stuck somewhere. They thought the grass was greener is kind of what I'm getting here. But they've changed their mind. I'm also getting this person could have hidden the way that they truly felt for you. It's like they're trying to have like like keep a a fence around their heart. Tell me about the page of wands. Six of swords, seven of wands reverse. Yeah, no longer having this defensive guard. And the six of swords, they're and the, with the page of wands, it's this message of coming to talk. Yeah. Six of wands hoping to be successful. What is this person's true intentions towards Aries? What are their true intentions towards Aries? Wow, the sun. Ooh, just dropped it. The sun flipped up. Okay, they kind of want to be happy with you. Radiance, clarity. Seven of Pentacles, reverse, King of Wands, reverse. This person is screwed up in the past. I feel like this person really, like, they missed out on something big and they know who to blame it's not you <laughs> what's this yep knight of wands reverse ace of pentacles the world reverse knight of wands reverse this person chose wrong somewhere made a mistake somewhere i feel like they haven't really been able to let this go what else do we need to know about this person tell me about this queen of cups i feel like this is just how they think about you or they feel about you tell me about the queen of cups Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this person invested in the wrong place. Nothing really, yeah. Five of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this person is still, I don't know. I, I'm getting this energy of someone that screwed up, mistreated you. There's the Five of Swords. And now they're wondering, you know, why, you know, since I screwed up so badly, will Aries give me another chance? Um, is it over for me? Am I stuck where I'm where I'm at? Because I think wherever they're at, they're not happy. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse, they want to come out. Yeah, King of Cups reverse. This person's not happy. They're bro heartbroken, sad. I don't know what happened. But I really feel that this was someone where the grass wasn't greener or they got played by their own. It's almost like um Sometimes illusions happen because we refuse to see things for what they truly are. We, it's like someone that misses the red flags. You know, the red flags are right in front of them, but they miss them. They, they get caught up in the illusion, the dream, the fantasy. I think that's what happened to this person. What do we need to know about this person? Concern. <laughs> yeah, this person's a... Uh, they're worried. They're worried because it's like they've realized the truth about something a little bit too late. Great fortune and marriage at the bottom of the deck. I really hope this person isn't with someone else because that's probably why things are not proceeding here. And that has kind of been an ongoing theme with Aries. This third party situation. What do we need to know about this person? 
I need to know about this person. Now, Great Fortune could be like the Ace of Pentacles. It could be like the Wheel of Fortune. We need to let each other go. I'm so attracted to you. I want to be more than friends. I will wait for a sign from you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. What the hell? Yeah, this person's very confused, I feel. I think some days they're like, okay, Aries and us are never going to happen. We don't have a future. Um, you know, and then other days it's like, I can't let Aries go. <laughs> let me see if they still care. Let me see if, you know, if there's still hope. I think this person goes back and forth. I want to be more than friends. Hmm. Tell me more about this person. Tied up, hidden feelings. Yep, exactly. Can I get one more? This person, they should have told you something back then. And this could have been years ago. And now they're tied up somewhere that they need to leave. They need to leave this wherever they're at. Closed off at the bottom of the deck. Cold shoulder. Yeah, you guys are, the communication has gone cold. Despite the fact that there's feelings here. Budding romance. So this is, I'm, I'm frustrated for you, basically, because I feel like this is, this was preventable. Whatever this is, this was preventable. And now there's so many obstacles in the way and so much to overcome in order to have this new beginning. But make no mistake, someone is thinking about a new beginning, a second chance with you. And it's, it's almost like, how do I make this happen? Uh, when I'm tied up somewhere where, when I'm in a situation where I'm very unhappy, it's like they're miserable without you. That's really what I'm picking up. They're miserable without you and they have no one to blame but themselves. And I feel like in, on your side, you're almost like, well, that's all well and good. But what you have right now is not enough for me. This not talking, not this somebody that doesn't have the, excuse my French, someone that doesn't have the balls or the guts to come forward. I'm not interested in that. If you want me, you come and get me. <laughs> That's kind of like the energy I'm picking up over here. And when they do come forward, if they do come forward and knock on your door and come over to talk like they so badly want to talk, for you, it's like you need to meet me here. And I'm not going to accept anything less. I've done that before. I'm in a whole new state of mind. I'm only going to be involving myself with people that can give me what I deserve. And I feel like that's your mindset. And this person, you know, to their credit, I feel like they already know that. But that's just going to make things harder, Aries, because this person is not going to be able to just come over and tell you the truth. They're going to want to back up that truth with action, with actual results, and that's harder to do. So it's almost like there's a stalemate here, you know? So that's what I have for you. Um, thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.